Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at how to create a caption using the metadata inside of our images as they come into InDesign. So let's take a look. So I'm in my InDesign document here and I'm just going to go ahead and bring up MiniBridge. And in MiniBridge I have this um, PSD file selected. It's a Photoshop document. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it right into my frame. So it comes into my frame. I'm just going to go ahead and collapse mini bridge at this point. I've got my auto fit command on and that means now I can just grab any corner and start scaling my image or my frame and they both scale together because of the auto fit. So that's great. Now the next thing is I want to put the description underneath the photo. But I don't want to have to go find the description. I don't want to have to copy and paste it. I don't want to have to retype it. I just want it to come from the information that's already embedded inside the image. So it's a two-step process. What we're going to do first is select the image. Now that I have the image selected, I'll just right-click on it. So Control-click on the Mac if you're only on a single button. Or just use your right mouse button. And we're going to say right-click. We're going to go to captions and we're going to do caption setup. Once I bring that dialog box up it will come up with the last setting I had which is in this case would bring in the copyright information and a description and I'm just going to go ahead and kill that and just bring in the description. So I can choose from any one of these um, categories or fields of metadata. So we're going to use description as our caption. I can put any text I want before it or after it and now everything below this, everything in this box below, is dealing with the position, style, where the caption will be, left, right, bottom of the image, so forth and so on. What style sheet will it use? Will it be on the same layer? All of the above. So let's go ahead and just keep all the options the way they are. We're going to put it below the image. We're going to use the captions paragraph style. We're going to put it on the same layer as the image. We don't need to group it in this case. And we'll just click OK and nothing happens. The reason nothing happens is because I said it was two steps. That was step one. Now step two, we'll right click again. We'll go to captions. And now we get to actually generate the live caption. This is what actually makes it work. So when I say generate live caption, it will actually go in to the metadata of the image and pull out the caption and put it in the frame below the image just like we specified. So that is a separate frame all by itself. But here's the way this works. Here's the magic. You'll notice that that frame is literally butted up against the, bo the bottom of the image. It, that means it's touching it. And that's how it knows to pull the description in from that particular image. The minute I pull it away, it says no intersecting link, which is engineering speak for it's not touching an image. So if I put it back, then it will grab the description from that image. If I move it away, then the description goes away. If I touch a different image, then it pulls the description from that image that it's touching. And I know what you're thinking. What happens if it's touching two? You get multiple intersecting links. So it has to be one or the other. It can't touch both images. So as soon as I pull it away from that one, I get that description. As soon as I put it on that one, I get that description. And you're probably saying, well, how do I add these descriptions into the files? Well, you can do this in a variety of different ways. You can do it in Bridge. You can do it in Lightroom. You can do it in any of our tools. You can even do it in the file info box in Photoshop. Any of our tools that allow you to go ahead and access the metadata of the image. So that's it for this quick episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.